Ready? Jeff Moore here from Foul Play Studios. Today I'm going to demo how to use our large vermiculation pack. Okay, if you get this, they, they cost $15. You get one, two, three different stencils in this pack. Uh, this is my favorite, the big round one for side pocket feathers. So, this is the one I'm going to demo. I'm going to start by doing some gray feather edges. Just using straight Nimbus gray just to demo this. Obviously, you could alter your color. But to simplify and speed it up, we're just going to shoot some straight Nimbus gray. If you, if you were doing a decorative bird and you already had all your side pockets on there, um, you know, I could freehand the edges of that using the stencil for the, the edges. This is just something I drew up for this demo. Um, but a lot of people will use stencils for doing their feather edges. They're great. Okay, that should... That looks much better. Man, it's clear. Thing. Can you use like a cardboard type material? It, it's much thicker, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's everything, yeah. My vermiculation color is a mix of burnt umber, black, and nimbus gray. Looking for a dark, smoky gray here. I would say most of your vermiculation is that color. Wood duck tends to be a lot browner. Hooded merganser. But most of your vermiculation is going to be this deep, smoky gray. gun down. I'm using a very simple single action pache gun here. Um, obviously you can use any type of gun you want to. Uh, I'm going to take my stencil, lay it right on my feather, shoot from the outside edge going towards the interior. Now, I teach seven classes a week. I have a lot of retirees, and they just don't see that well anymore, or they <laughs> don't want to take the time to paintbrush vermiculate, and this has just made their lives a lot easier. Where they would not think about doing a vermiculated bird, now they, they will with this stencil. I would not advise it for a competition piece, you know, you're using a stencil, so every single one is going to look very, very similar. What you could do is do a lighter version of this darker gray and then go over it with a paintbrush. I have done that. You know, kind of lay yourself down a, a base coat of vermiculation, if you will. Let me hold that up for you. This is designed to be quick and easy. Okay, that right there um, took what, seconds? If you were painting with a brush, it would take much, much longer. Again, you can vary the intensity. Maybe use a little more paint. I've had a lot of people say, well, why don't you make the stencil out of a clear material? Well, it wouldn't really matter once you start getting some paint on this. Uh, 
you know, it's, it's going to cover your stencil material. See that? And you can see through the vermiculation. So if you had quills there or your feather edge, you know, I can kind of place it on there, move it back and forth until I see the edge of my feather right there. All right. That's pretty much it. All you need to do is practice and, uh, you know, have fun.